Hey y'all, it's Rosie from iHeartRecipes.com and in this video we are making super duper easy neck bones and potatoes. Now first here I'm going to start adding my neck bones into my slow cooker slash crock pot. That's what I'm using. That's the brand. And then I'm going to start adding in my seasonings. Actually, you know what? No, let's add in our onions first. And the onions that I will be using will be yellow onions, but you can use white, you can use red. Heck, if you want to use green onions, you can, okay? Just use whatever onions you have on hand, my dear. So now we are going to add in some seasoning salt and followed by the seasoning salt, I'm going to grab my onion and garlic powder, okay? And just sprinkle those on in there. And then we're also going to add in a little black pepper as well. So once the black pepper is in there, I'm going to open up my gravy packs. Yeah, y'all heard me right. It's a busy, busy day, so I'm going to make this with gravy packs, okay? A lot of y'all been saying how you don't like me always making homemade gravy, so this is for you. But if you want to use or make homemade gravy for this recipe, knock yourself out. You can do that, okay? So now we're just going to toss the meat. We're going to make sure it's well coated, and then we're going to start pouring it in broth. I like to use vegetable broth, but you can certainly use chicken broth or beef broth if you're making uh, beef neck bones. So off camera, I did peel and chop some potatoes. I'm using some regular old russet potatoes. You know the cheap kind, the kind you can get for like 10 pounds for $2? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, okay? So place some potatoes in there. If you want, you can use red potatoes, but I like the cheap stuff. And now I'm going to let this cook for about six hours on high heat, okay? So go ahead, do whatever you want to do. Go make some greens or something to go with this while it's cooking. And once done, this is what it looks like you got your meat, you got your starch in there, you know that you got the gravy and potatoes. All you need is a veggie. And like I said, I made greens, but you can also, you know, supper with some corn, whatever you want. You're done. Now, don't forget, if you want the exact measurements, head over to my blog, iHeartRecipes.com, and I will see you soon.